Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog and today's vlog I am in a small town in Colombia I haven't been here before, this is my first time and this small town is called Necocli I'm gonna show you the name it's right there behind me so to get here from Valle du Par I had to go to another town called Monteria and then from Monteria I took a two hour bus to get here. So join me on this trip as I go from Necocli to my final destination, Kapurgana. It's about two hours from where I am. I'm gonna take one of those speed boats and go all the way to the border close to Panama. So uh, join me and uh, let's start our vlog today. Finally made it to my final destination and this place is called Aguacate. So it's like an eight minute boat ride um, from Capurgana and it looks pretty nice. I haven't gone to the hostel yet. The hostel is somewhere behind me there and um, I'm excited. So let's go discover this place. Alright, so I am looking for, that's the place, Doble Vista Hostel, let's go! everyone we're gonna start our exploration with a hike from Aguacate to Capurgana. Aguacate is where my hostel is and Aguacate is a Spanish word that translates to avocado. Now I don't know why it's called avocado because there's not even a single avocado tree in Aguacate. Anyway so I'm gonna get to Capurgana which is about 30 minutes away from where I am right now. Once I get there, rest for a little bit, maybe drink some water, eat a snack, and then I'm gonna continue further up north to another special, special beach called Sapsuro. So join me on this hike, let's explore and enjoy that beautiful view behind me. That's the Atlantic Ocean. If you hear a lot of wind blowing, it's because I think right now it's a monsoon season here in the coast, Colombian coast, but um, it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's relaxing and uh, join me as I get to Capurgana. See you in a bit.
So I just made it from uh, Kapurgana and I'm on the trail on my way to Sapsuro. Getting here was a little bit confusing because there's so many streets in Kapurgana. So if you're intending to do the hike from Aguacate all the way to Sapsuro, please ask for directions or else you're gonna spend 30 minutes like me looking for the right path. I just got into the park, into the reserve area where they have the hike and I ran into this uh, place. It's like a rest stop, place where you can rest and use the bathroom. And I think this location, there's supposed to be someone here to sign you in, like take your details in case something happens to you on the trail. But unfortunately, this is uh, what you find, a closed office. So that means whoever enters the park, nobody knows. Nobody knows where they are. If something happens to you, something happens to me, I don't know how people are gonna know that I'm on this trail. So that's the sad part. Um, let's get on the trail. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the trail. It's uh, four kilometers long. Should take me about two hours. And uh, we'll see what else we can do while we are in Sapsuro. So let's enjoy the hike. fact about Chocó. Chocó is the only Colombian department that has access to two oceans. It has access to the Atlantic Ocean, which I showed you earlier, and it has access to the Pacific Ocean. Great, great department. Lots of uh, biodiversity. A great place to live. The people from Chocó, the best. the way down there that is Kapurgana and we had to hike through that entire entire forest to get here let's go to the other side and I'm gonna show you what the other town is it's all the way down there that is Sopsuro so fortunately it just stopped raining and the rain seems to be going that way towards Kapurgana. I'm going this other way to that tiny, tiny town down there. Let's walk through that entire jungle and see if we can get there in about 45 minutes. The good thing is it's downhill. When you're coming here to this viewpoint from Kapurgana, it's uphill. So let's go. We're here, finally. Yes, almost 4,000 kilometers walking through the jungle. Sapsuro, let's go check out the beach, eat some food, and then, uh, and then I think I'm lost. Yeah, let's get some food. on the trail to go to the border with Panama and then I'll get to the other side go to the beach called La Miel so I'm excited let's go explore more stairs finally made it 
fit it to the viewpoint between Columbia's that side and Panama's that side. Here's the border. You can see the two flags. So let me show you where it came from. Somewhere down there is Sapsuru. I heard there's a beach here, so let's go check out La Miel. Let's see where it is. All right, so I checked out La Miel. Came to Panama, loved it. Now I gotta head back, take a boat back to Aguacate. Ugh, tired, but happy with this trip. Happy with this hike. It was one of the best, highly recommended. After hiking all day, now it's time to go snorkel. I've got my goggles, I've got my GoPro, and uh, the weather's okay, so let's go snorkel. How were those images from the snorkel? Amazing, right? The water's super clear, the sun's out, the fish swimming. It's This is an absolutely breathtaking place to be. So what's next? Recommendations. So the first recommendation is where to stay when you visit Kapurgana. I stayed in a place called Aguacate. This hostel that is right behind me really really awesome place it's quiet if you want to stay in Kapurgana that's okay if you want to stay in Sapsuru that's okay but those two smaller towns are a lot noisier here it's a lot more peaceful you actually get to see the animals coming closer to you then you have to have to go towards them first recommendation second recommendation carry cash nobody here accepts credit cards debit cards cash is the way to go third recommendation carry some hiking shoes and some good pants there's some good hiking trails here along the coastline but you have to walk through sometimes into like thick bush so comfortable shoes and some good pants fourth recommendation costs quite a little bit to hop between the different beaches so if you want to move from one place to another Kapurgana to Agacate or you want to go to Sapsuro or La Miel it's gonna cost you quite a little bit of money budget spending a little bit extra money on the boat rides all right final recommendation if you want to leave Nekokli and come to Kapurgana those boat companies have a specific schedule between 7 and 8 o'clock so plan your trip when you can get to Nekokli because once you get there you have to get your ticket likewise for you to leave Kapurgana and go back to Nekokli they do have a specific time schedule when those boats can leave consult the boat companies if you have any doubts otherwise you might find yourself stuck in one of those towns Hey, so thank you so much for hanging out with me on this particular vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to watch some more videos, you can click the playlist that's at the end of this video. Connect with me on Instagram and you can subscribe to this channel if this is content that you like. Until next time guys, peace.